Oh, well, it's a nice winter day. Did not expect snow already in November, but then again, I'm also spoiled by Vancouver Island, where there's basically none throughout winter. And uh, yeah, Nova Scotia has a little bit more. So first off, sorry about the slowdown in video production. It's been a little bit crazy lately. Oh, hi. You probably can't see that with the wide angle, but there's a squirrel sitting right there on that piece of wood. It's kind of diagonal, kind of hanging there. Little guy's just chilling near Nomen. Doesn't seem to mind me a whole lot. <laughs> okay, I'll take another route so I don't scare you off. Um, can I? Yeah. <laughs> That might be a bit much for a little guy anyway. Uh, let's see, are you still there? No, probably ran off now. <laughs> yes, I love rodents. I mean, not not in my house, obviously, but otherwise. Um, okay, so, yeah, things have been a little crazy. A lot of work, a whole lot of work. It's this, you know, you just move into a house and everything needs to be fixed pretty much and upgraded and etc etc um so that didn't leave a lot of time for video making unfortunately i mean i've been struggling to stick to my usual schedule and, and keep uploading and all it's been a little difficult so walk around the house of course is not very interesting so i figure instead i'd take you out in the woods where of course there's also work to do plus right now what i want to do is look for suitable wood to half that copper axe that Vaughn sent me. And uh, it's gonna be a little tricky because as you see, most of what grows here is softwoods. Now, the original one was softwood too, but that was, it was made of yew. And there, from my research, it doesn't seem like yew is a native tree in Nova Scotia. So I won't find any here. Apparently, uh, we're not even going to cross that stream. Hmm. That wasn't much of a stream in summer. Well, late summer slash fall. But uh, now it is. Hmm. Let's see here. I mean, it's beautiful. This is kind of ridiculously idyllic, don't you think? I'm not sure if you can hear the water. But that is really nice. However, I want to get to the other side. Where to best do that? Looks like over there, maybe. Then again, maybe not. We'll see. Hmm. <laughs> well, perhaps. We'll just hold my weight, yes. So this could be one of those uh, vlog-style videos where you see something stupid happen. <laughs> like me falling into the stream or who knows what. I don't really anticipate that, but we'll see. Um, is there anything here? Well, there's a birch over there. And birch is a decent enough type of wood for axe handles. Not great. Not as good as ash or especially hickory. But I think it'll do. Now, that one looks perfectly healthy, so I don't really want to take that down right now. I want to be selective with what I take down. Now, there's a lot of forest here. So at this point, my audio recorder decided that the battery is, oops, empty after all, even though it started out with two out of three bars, supposedly. Yeah, I think the display is a little inaccurate. And yeah, so... The GoPro audio recording was useless. It was complete, like, sounds like uh, recorded out of the trash can and there's clicking noises and it's terrible. So yeah, I was making my way through the forest here looking for the right kind of wood. <laughs> Aren't you looking for the right kind of wood? So yeah, as you can see, mostly softwoods um, and over time, I would actually like to influence this in the direction of more deciduous trees for the hardwoods. Uh, because as it is right now, you know, 
probably like 85% coniferous trees. And yeah, you can see they're, they're basically growing like weeds here. They're everywhere, just sprouting. By the way, I'm hoping that the GoPro footage isn't too jarring. It's always a little difficult to realize just how big the movements get, because a tiny head movement translates into this really large movement. And there is where I found something really useful. So there's a birch tree. This pine fell on top of it, and so you can see right there, it's pretty much a 90 degree bend. And I figured the tree probably would not recover from this. But I wanted to cut down the other one that was resting on top of it just to see what happens. Uh, yeah, so just delimbing it right here to get it ready. That's a pretty quick and easy job, of course, with that axe. I got the Fiskars chopping axe with fiberglass handle because it had a lot of good reviews and I figured why not? It doesn't always have to be traditional and this is pretty affordable. It's quite a bit cheaper than the other ones that I've been looking at. And so far it's been working really well. Can't complain. So just taking that chunk off there. And uh, so there was looking how it's situated and considering that there is a chance it might spring back as soon as the load is taken off. I didn't really think so considering how it looked and, and it's been like that for a while and was cold. So I didn't really expect it to have the flexibility left. But you know, it's always good to think about these things before you go swinging. Because otherwise injuries and accidents can happen easily. So yeah, taking off some more limbs to make it more accessible. Uh, this is really my favorite kind of exercise, personally. You know, swinging blades. Who would have guessed? But it's just, it's a perf purpose-driven activity. Like, you don't do it just for the sake of burning some, some calories, but, you know, there's there's an actual goal here to accomplish. And you're getting work done. And at the same time, it's it's enjoyable. You know, I do like to swing axes and, and other implements and do like to work with wood and trees and, you know, being outdoors. So here was looking at that piece and, and how I would utilize it. There's that branch that I'm looking for because with that L shape there, the the grain runs in the proper direction. Whereas if you just were to cut it out of a piece, then you run the problem of the grain going perpendicular. And then of course uh, that extra piece, that L piece would just break right off. And so you have that type of ax. Yeah, just taking off some more branches here. This machete works really well for that purpose. I'm definitely glad to have that. But of course, in order to take it down, I'm taking the axe. Feel free to criticize the technique and everything. I'm, I don't have a whole lot of practice so far, but, but I can say that I've gotten noticeably better with the axe. You know, at least I've noticed it myself. So yeah. Chopping, chopping, chopping. And then I'm just looking, checking to make sure that it's not moving in unexpected ways. Wouldn't want the, you know, anything to have to fall on my head, of course. But uh, yeah, it's still resting on that. I'm going to just pull it off. And no spring left in that tree. It's just permanently fixed in that shape. And so, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it will not recover. This will just slowly die as it is, so might as well take it down and make good use of it. Yeah. Accuracy is still not 100% with those swings, but man, not super terrible. It's been worse and definitely fun. Um, I could have done this more quickly with the chainsaw, of course. But this was hanging above shoulder height and for safety reasons you're not supposed to cut above shoulder height with a chainsaw simply because kickback is a lot less manageable and in that sort of compromised position. So yeah, 
then I, I at first I was just wanted to drag the entire thing, but it was just a bit too long, so I decided to cut it at a point where there's a natural bend in it, and I wanted to preserve the straight sections as much as possible. You know, straight-ish, of course. You know, a birch of this diameter is not going to be terribly straight. Or, in general, birches aren't necessarily the straightest of trees. They're kind of queer. Somebody probably finds that remark offensive. So then, yeah, just hauling them along. Nothing too exciting here. <laughs> I mean... It was a bit of an adventure to get everything across that stream because, well, <laughs> you can imagine. But I did manage to not fall in or didn't even get my boots wet, so not too bad. So, yeah, let me know, by the way, what you think about this video style. I might just keep doing this as a series and uh, the term... ADD Ventures makes a lot of sense because, you know, I tend to be a little bit distracted and disorganized and all the other things that come with attention deficit. So hopefully there's some sort of entertainment to be found in it. I definitely chuckle at it myself every now and then. So, yeah, almost there. Hauling, hauling, hauling. And then the next step is going to be to shape it. You know, cut it to the right length and shape it. But we're going to do that in the next video because this is already pretty long. So watch for part two. That'll be up pretty soon and I'll link to it. So thanks for watching. See you next time.